Hello and welcome back to Mr. Block's Design Rescue. In this video, what we're going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to delve a little bit further into Adobe Photoshop by creating our own delicious hamburger. And so to start this project, first of all, what we're going to do is go to File, Place Embedded, and let's go out and place this image of this, these hamburger parts. The first thing that it's going to want to do is open up in Camera Raw. And what that does is it allows us to fix uh, any of the, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, or any of that stuff. We're just going to take it exactly as they give it to us here. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. Now, I will change the size. We're going to scale it. <laughs> there you go. OK, we've got our hamburger. This is all, as you can see, you can move it around. You can move it off the board. It's not like... Photoshop uh, in uh, Adobe Illustrator where you can take an image and move it off the artboard in Photoshop you are constrained to the artboard itself so try to keep everything within the perimeter of your artboard on the right hand side you can see we've got the layer panel there's our layer this little icon that appears on the thumbnail of your image that tells you that you've got an uh, a, a smart object so when an image is made into a smart object, that basically helps to prevent damage uh, to happen to the actual image itself. It, so if you needed to um, make a change or, uh, you know, blur it out or in fact, let's do that. I'll make a filter. We'll go filter, blur, give it a Gaussian blur. Bam, hit OK. Now, it's, it looks like it's blurred, but it, it actually added a smart filter, which you can actually turn on and off. And we're going to get rid of the smart filters for this uh, demonstration. There we go. And what we want to do is we want to break each, for this project, we're just going to basically break each element apart into its own layer. And then we can push them together and make it look like a delicious hamburger. So to do that, Let's go ahead and use the, uh, let's go ahead and use the lasso tool. And I'll just, we're going to do a couple of different things. So notice, first of all, this will, would not work if the image was not selected, if your layer wasn't selected. If I had the background image uh, selected, then I can go around here and it would only grab from the background, which has nothing. So I'm going to actually choose this image right here. I've selected it. I'm going to right click and do a layer via copy. And what that did is if I turn off the main image and I'll even turn off the background, which shows you these boxes, which it tells you that's a transparent area. So notice what I cut. It actually got the, the white area around the background there. Um, let's just grab now. And remember, I'm selecting layer one. That's the one that I want to work with. I'm going to use the object selection tool and just grab just the object on that layer and then let's mask it out grab and just click on the mask uh, layer mask click once and there it is all right we're going to do that for the other pieces of the burger so let's go ahead and click on the eye to turn off the top one and let's turn on the uh the hamburger again and we'll go ahead and grab this guy right there i'm just gonna actually let's see what happens we if we do that, it's probably going to grab the hamburger too. Oh, hey, check it out. We got the lettuce. Perfect. So right click, layer via copy. That should cut it out. Let's turn off. Yeah, there we go. It actually cut it out from the background as well, which is perfect. That's what we want. So I'm going to turn that one off, turn this one back on, and let's get the uh, tomatoes. And uh, let's see, we're going to do a quick selection for the tomatoes. We're going to do this a couple of different ways just so you can see how that you know each oop, notice that that didn't work it's starting to get this top layer because this is the layer that is selected the lettuce and by the way let's go ahead and change the name i'm going to change this to lettuce double click on the word layer one that is our top bun now we know what's what all right so we're selecting the main delicious ingredients image now we can select this now but it's also got that one here so control d to deselect everything i'm going to just need only that guy right there 
and we'll right click on it and choose layer via copy and once again I'll turn off this eye so you can see we've got just that image right there okay now I'll turn off that top one I'm gonna actually uh, do the same thing here to the onions so let's just do that all the way through layer via copy turn that off go back to the main image let's get the cheese layer via copy turn that one off go back to the main image let's get the burger now of course the burger is covered by part of the cheese so you're not going to get that whole burger but that's okay because when we construct this image uh, that back part's not even going to show right it's going to be hidden by the stuff on top so that's okay so I'm going to right click and choose layer via copy once again let's take a look at that there it is with the cutout where the cheese was okay let's turn that and then let's get the last part, the bun. And I'm going to right click, layer via copy. And we'll turn off this main image. Let's turn on all of our layers and grab the move tool. And let's start to construct our burger. Now, notice what's going on here. So, some of them are, I'm going to move this up a little bit, okay? Notice the burger is not on the right angle, okay? It's just kind of like off. Control T will be a transform and that allows you to do a couple things. You can scale your image. I don't want to do that. Control Z to bring it back. If you hover just outside the node, you'll get that rounded arrow, which allows you to rotate. And there's the pivot point right there. And you can actually move that pivot point so that it rotates in a different way. I'm going to put it right back in the middle, just like that. And then click on the check mark at the top. All right, let's take that cheese pop it down there take the onions I'm gonna move that over a little bit and our tomatoes put it that there that's gonna be a little weird but we'll see what happens and then the lettuce so I don't like that we're not showing very much of everything so I'm gonna pull this down pull that down even more there we go get the tomato in there Get that lettuce and control T and then rotate that lettuce as well just like that and then hit the check mark and bring the top down and now we've got a problem right we, we can see the, this is a problem because we can see the under part of the bun so first of all let's rotate that bun and what we're going to do is we're going to clip we're going to get rid of this bottom part and i'm going to show you how to do that so uh let's zoom in press alt and roll your mouse wheel and let's grab the um, the quick selection tool all right and now making sure that the white brackets on your layers they're not on your layer mask make sure it's on the that's now that was the layer mask that we that we did on that first one we didn't do layer masks for the other layers but um, just so you remember what we did with that first layer select that image and let's grab that uh, the quick selection tool we're just going to go right up along the bottom area. Single click, click here, click there, click here, click here. Oh, I clicked too much and it got the top of the bun. Press the Alt key and you can minus away that top bun. Now, the selection that we've got, what we need to do is get rid of it, right? So select your layer mask. Make sure the brackets are on your layer mask and then go over to the brush all right and with black in the foreground you're going to come over and just wipe away what's been selected all right and then control d to deselect it all right get your move tool pull this down and we've got a bun now notice also that little line i don't know if you can see that line that was still that was just on the just on the outside perimeter of that uh selection that we made to get rid of the bottom part of the bun grab your uh, your brush again and make sure the brackets are on your layer mask and then you can actually with the with your uh, the brackets on your keyboard that's next to the P the bracket key you can re re uh, make the the brush smaller which I will right there and then let's just kind of wipe that stuff away and there it is that's not all that great. I didn't cut all that great there. So I'm going to flip to white 
And let's add some of this back in on the top of the bun, just because I, you know, whatever, we can. Just like that. And we've got ourselves a burger. Let's zoom out. Alt, roll back. Boy, that's a that's an ugly burger. <laughs> Control T, let's rotate that a little bit. I'm going to actually stretch that up a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Bam. There's our burger. Now, here's a trick. When you click outside and drag like this, you're selecting. Notice that the panels on the, uh, the layer panel have all selected. And you'll grab everything. Okay. And take a bite of that. Ready? All right. There you go. Okay. So you've just made yourself a hamburger. Good job, guys. That's it for Blo uh, for Mr. Block's Design Rescue today. I hope you've learned something, one thing, at least one thing about Photoshop today. And <laughs> all right. Have fun with it. Play around. See what else you can make. Take care.